the design is an expression of how to treat the extraordinary acceleration shape of the ground power. This is the story of the rebirth of a legend. In 1985, Yamaha Motorcycles was quickly defining the direction and state-of-the-art engineering for the world's motorcycles. Wanting to remain in the driver's seat, Yamaha set out to discover and build a totally new kind of motorcycle. One night on a small local track in Louisiana, Yamaha engineers came across a group of street drag racers. The riders attacked the quarter mile with all the vengeance their bikes could muster. This was not only about bragging rights, but the sheer power and thrill of acceleration. Thus, the motivation for the VMAX was born. A team of engineers, designers, and product planners was formed with one goal in mind, design and build a motorcycle that could dominate the quarter mile. Yamaha US team member Ed Burke said that an inline four or six wouldn't cut it. It had to be a V4 engine. The muscle car was coming into the market. We wanted to find a way to build a muscle motorcycle. We pretty much said it had to be the biggest, the baddest motorcycle in the market. The proof came in the ride, and that was because of V-Boost. And it gave it that, you know, incredible rush of acceleration, and that's what the customer was looking for. He wanted that real rush and emotional ride that it gave him. The result? Drag racing acceleration unmatched in a bike of this caliber. But an engine of this size would demand a revolutionary design. Enter a designer at Sushi Ichijo of GK Dynamics. Yamaha has nurtured a relationship with the design firm of GK Dynamics since they helped design Yamaha's first motorcycle, the YA-1, in 1954. At that time, Mr. Ichijo was growing up near an airport in Tokyo, Japan. As a young boy, he was fascinated by the powerful yet organic design of the jet airplanes overhead. The enormous side air intakes on either side of the fuselage were a key inspiration of the original VMAX design. They were proved to be vital in illustrating the power flow of the motorcycle. Just like the VMAX, the design of a jet airplane must consider how efficiently it can take in, ignite and burn air. The design of the air intakes is also inspired by the air intakes of a hot rod. This design of large air intakes on the VMAX is one expression of power. Our desire was to actually visualize the function of a hot rod's air intake. In the United States, acceleration is considered the pinnacle of excitement. Americans have enjoyed muscle cars so much, it has become part of their culture culture of powerful engines with powerful torque. All of this illustrates the shared policy of GK Dynamics and Yamaha. That modeling design is much more than a motorcycle's exterior coating. It is a visual expression of the function and performance of the machine itself. Furthermore, the rider's position played an important role in the design of the VMAX. With a bike this fast, the horizontal position would seem to be the norm, but this was not your average bike. The vertical riding position provides for comfort and maneuverability when riding on city streets and gives the rider the opportunity to share the edgy attitude of the bike. The synergy between rider position and engine acceleration comes with preconceived ideas. The engineers and designers for the original VMAX broke through those stereotypes with precision and success. The smoothness of it, lack of vibration, uh, is, is amazing. And then the roll-on power that's underneath you when you need it is there. It just it blows you away. This bike is staple, but it's made for a flat out. The boost on this bike is incredible. I mean, it, when Yamaha put this back pad here, they did it for a reason and it holds you on the bike. Uh, my experience the first time when the V-Boost 
open is almost unanimous with everybody else who rides them. And it just puts a big smile across your face because it goes like a scalded ape. I love the uh, handling. It has more than enough power. Also, uh, the style, the looks, it's unique. There's none other like it, and there probably never will be. We have a saying in the VMAX Owners Association that you can't resist the twist. Pure power. A uh, combination of the design and engineering make it like a muscle bike. Uh, it's muscle. It's just got so much power when you're riding it. But the VMAX uh, platform lends itself to people that really want to personalize their bikes in their own special way. And it's uh, something that's manageable as well. You don't have to actually be an engineer to do it. And that's what this is about. You can actually have it the way you want it. If I go to a local hangout, um, you don't always see a lot of VMAXs somewhere. You might be the only one there. The demographics of um, the VMAX tends to be a lot of uh, independent kind of guys that uh, are really individual thinkers. You find them in all different uh, shapes and colors uh, on VMAXs. When you get a bunch of guys together that are in the VMAX club, they talk all day long. They may be from all different sorts of backgrounds, but they all talk VMAX. And they all have stories to tell. And that's what's cool, the camaraderie. American riders were conquering the road with the original VMAX, and riders all over the world would be next. When I saw the VMAX for the first time, I had a fever, a red fever, very strong emotion. I said, we have to have the VMAX in France. The first time I rode it, it was all about the quarter mile. The torque, the power, and the sensation of being catapulted into the landscape. I was used to two-stroke engines at the time, so you just cannot compare. It had been a decade since the inception of the VMAX, and the new millennium was fast approaching. In 1996, Yamaha's VMAX project team began what was to become almost 11 years of trial and tribulation. They would test the limits of motorcycle engineering and design in an effort to deliver the rebirth of the VMAX. We know that the VMAX has established itself as really an icon in the industry. And with the latest generation VMAX, we absolutely thought it was critical to bring that feeling of uh, hot rod, of Americana, of, you know, quarter mile to the future. The original VMAX is a bike like no other, so it was not a matter of staying ahead of the competition. VMAX had tested the limits of performance and design before, and Yamaha had set out to do it again, this time with a larger team than any other Yamaha endeavor. Nothing short of the ultimate new VMAX would do, and nothing short of a full commitment from Yamaha would make it happen. With the original VMAX, acceleration was key, but Yamaha wanted to take that acceleration to the next level to explore the feel of acceleration. American psychologist and professor Dr. Abraham Maslow theorized of the hierarchy of man's five needs for human motivation. Those five needs have stood up for over 60 years. But now, there's a sixth need. It is through the sensation of acceleration that the new VMAX would look to satisfy this final need. So team engineers and planners study data on the G-forces associated with roller coasters. Able to propel a rider to a speed of 100 miles per hour in under two seconds, the catapult light launch provides the G-forces and acceleration that the new VMAX would need to harness. Excitement and pleasure from such a thing as speed is a result of the brain receiving signals from the eyes. We become bored by the normal sense of speed, so excitement is not an involuntary response. Say, for example, that one is looking at a passing landscape. When one adds these intense curves and in acceleration to his sight, his vision changes and sends this signal to the pleasure center of his brain, which immediately processes it as newfound excitement and exhilaration. 
To reach the goal of the acceleration curve, there was the hurdle of the size of the engine. The V4 trial engine quickly became too much to handle, too large for the motorcycle. Test rides proved that the designers and engineers needed to rethink this monster creation. So much like an artist scraps his work, so did the VMAX project team with years of work on the new VMAX. This is the true tradition of Yamaha craftsmanship. Do it right or don't do it at all. The goal of selling bikes is secondary to developing interesting and thrilling motorcycles that reward the rider and raise the bar of the riding experience. In 2003, a new engine design was put to the drawing boards. Yamaha's perseverance and deep belief in the potential of the VMAX would keep the project alive. Cost was no issue, and this time, the bike would be built around the engine. But this engine would be derived from super sport bike technologies like Yamaha's YZF-R1 and YZF-R6, which include new racing engine technologies such as forged pistons and FS-centered connecting rods, alloy cylinders, and electronic controls. The result is a 1680cc engine that delivers monster power but does not compromise the ride. This would be the centerpiece for Yamaha to move forward with the new VMAX. But now the challenge of the acceleration curve was needed to give the VMAX its trademark inspired performance. The V-Boost system worked for the original VMAX, but Yamaha needed 21st century technology for the new VMAX. Thus, the Genic system was born. Genic is original Yamaha technology that reacts jointly, much like the human body's eyes and hands. It is this synchronicity that puts electronically controlled performance at the rider's fingertips. Genic's two main elements are YCCI and YCCT. YCCI uses electronic control to automatically adjust the length of the intake funnels. So with the twist of the throttle at high speeds, the intake funnel length changes from long to short, giving optimum performance at high speed and acceleration. YCCT is designed to respond to the throttle action of the rider to instantly and precisely control the volume of air intake for the perfect fuel-air mixture. On the original VMAX, the V-Boost kicked in at 7,000 RPM like a jet fighter's afterburners. But with the new VMAX, that kind of surging dual curve acceleration is available whenever the rider twists the throttle, regardless of RPM. This breakthrough in technology on Yamaha motorcycles achieves that exhilarating acceleration curve while giving the rider a raw surge of power. We built six different prototypes for this motorcycle. The most challenging and critical parts of this entire project were creating the ideal engine volume and finding the best location within the frame for an engine that size. Now, even though figures showed that the frame and engine were balanced proportionally, the actual riding experience did not feel the same. So, without compromising the engine's power or visual strength, we wound up building dozens of different frames. In order to feel the extraordinary acceleration of this motorcycle and the power and presence of its engine, we had to design a frame that would maximize the rear wheel's adherence to the road. In building the head pipe and a stiff pivot, it would be most effective to connect these elements in a straight line, but that would hide the engine. I've been developing motorcycles for almost 20 years now. My goal is to create motorcycles that are not only enjoyable to ride, but also visually appealing. My approach to development comes from not only the point of view of an engineer, but also from the perspective of a rider. It was not only vital, but unique that test riders were also involved throughout the entire process in creating the new VMAX. They were instrumental in designing the feel of the ride and providing feedback to help fine-tune the motorcycle. The result is a new VMAX frame with high vertical rigidity and responsive cornering performance.
For over 50 years, Yamaha has been delivering superior quality motorcycles inside and out to motorcycle enthusiasts. The international design team of GK Dynamics has played a pivotal role these many years, and they continue to bring that experience to the new VMAX. Fifteen years ago, I traveled to the United States for this project to speak with U.S. motorcycle owners. At that time, they still identified the VMAX as a strong icon. And so I knew we had to continue that image and reputation. We were able to provide Yamaha with a modern day production model for today's riders. We began designing by adapting and updating the overall style of the original VMAX air intakes. When the design became a three-dimensional figure, we made sure to leave the engine and other parts exposed instead of covering them up in the frame. This accentuates the muscular shape of the motorcycle. The new VMAX contains two of the air intakes on each side for a total of four individual airflow openings, which then flow into the four intake funnels. They then flow into the V4 engine and finally out the four exhaust pipes. I arranged the exhaust pipes as if they are the veins carrying the blood of this motorcycle. The test riders and engineers wanted the handling to be so effortless that the rider is unaware of the chassis. The result is a very grounded feel from the front and rear tires giving the rider a feeling of confidence. It is this responsive handling on the new VMAX that gives the rider the sensation of essentially riding the engine. The combination of inspired design and intelligent engineering has created a fine-tuned machine with the raw soul and strength of an ancient god. In its metamorphosis, the new VMAX has emerged as a more advanced, more powerful being exuding absolute force and attitude. Over 20 years of tradition and 10 years of innovation have brought the new VMAX to life. And now, it is Yamaha's gift to riders everywhere. Three words, power, adrenaline, acceleration. That's what the new VMAX is all about. You may remember the original VMAX, a bike born out of the drag strip scene. This bike became a cult, an icon, a legend even. And now there are VMAX clubs all over the world. It's like people worship this bike. And now there's the new VMAX, and it's on a whole nother level altogether. The new VMAX makes 200 horsepower. And that's a whole lot of power for a whole lot of acceleration. But the new VMAX is about more than just straight line performance. Thanks to symbiotic engine chassis development, the VMAX also handles the twists and turns great. Let's take a closer look. The all-new, high-tech, powerful, fuel-injected, 1,679cc V4 motor is imposing, but it fits the frame perfectly thanks to its narrower 65-degree V angle and its innovative, space-saving combined chain and gear cam drive. Bore and stroke is 90 by 66 millimetres. It's got four valves per cylinder, pent roof combustion chambers, 
a compression ratio of 11.3 to 1 forged pistons and high performance iridium spark plugs. All good for 167 newton meters of torque. The state of the art electronics from our Genic engineering program and Yamaha chip controlled intake system adjust the intake funnels, allowing for excellent low and mid range thrust, as well as an explosive top end hit of acceleration and speed at the merest whiff of a throttle. Yamaha chip controlled throttle analyzes engine running conditions every millisecond to unleash perfect acceleration whenever you twist the throttle. And those four titanium exhausts at the back bark out a soundtrack no one will ever forget. How to get all that power to the ground? Well, the VMAX motor is encased in a cast aluminium frame with ideal rigidity balance, which ensures great stability for straight line acceleration, but also agile handling when you head off down the back roads. And VMAX uses sports bike type front and rear suspension. At the front you've got fully adjustable titanium coated forks with Brembo radially mounted calipers and radial master cylinders as well as floating wave type discs. Rear end spec is a mega wide 18 inch rear tyre, a one piece aluminium swing arm and a fully adjustable monoshock with remote easy access adjusters for preload, rebound and compression. Wave type brake discs and a slipper clutch help keep things smooth under high RPM downshifts while ABS keeps all this braking power under control. Check out the hand polished aluminium intake covers, the magnesium engine covers, the superb organic electroluminescent OEL dash, the shift light, the LED tail lights and the underseat fuel tank. VMAX is a metal muscle sculpture, a work of pure performance art. Attention to detail is exceptional. It's as if a dedicated team of custom bike builders have been hard at work. VMAX, power, adrenaline, acceleration. Explosive power whenever you want it.